Mostly, most of the um, material on the album, apart from two songs, uh, was uh, pre-production, um, mainly recorded uh, in home studio, um, and then taken to the main studio and finished off there. That's how it really comes together, because these days, spending so much time in the studio is too costly. You know, for two, three, four weeks at a time, you can't do that anymore. It's just too expensive. So you just pre-produce, pre pre-write, and then take that what you have to the studio and just overlay it, and that's how it's done. Again, that was uh, all in the writing process, really. Um, it was going to be called something other than Juggernaut before that as well, and then it changed to Juggernaut. It depends how you what lyrics come up at the time for the, for the song, you know. Juggernaut actually was going to be a, uh, an instrumental, but then uh, lyrics, I mean, uh, vocals were put to it, and it changed then to something else. You know? So that's uh, things, before an album's actually finished production, things always change. Uh, until the final one is reached, and then that, that's the one you use. There's no, uh, there's no special case for it to change, it just happened that way. Uh, that was thought up by um, our record company, Clay Basher Records. They had the idea to have the, the core band connected, the core band, that's the main members, do other covers and invite other musicians onto the album as well, you know, the likes of. Uh, Steve Howard, all those people. Yeah, 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 a lot of different people. Well, Jerry Goodman. Uh, so it wasn't a, a conscious idea, f consciously from us. It was from a record company. So let's try this. Uh, then we try it that way. I, I particularly didn't like it very much, but you know, the idea was there. Some people seem to like it. So. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, that's one person that likes it. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I mean, do I listen to yeah, uh, do modern? Yeah. Listen also to some new bands. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always listening, but um, I class Nectar as um, basically progressive, old school. You know, we don't. Um, I wouldn't say that we're mod a modern band as such, but we. Well, you, you can't really say that even because Nectar music is 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 kind of different anyway. Um, it doesn't follow the pattern of progressive rock as such. But people like to call it progressive rock, but I don't. I don't see what they mean by progressive rock. They mean lots of time changes, and well, I guess so, yeah. But you know, it's not next. Is not really progressive rock as I would see see it as, you know, like somebody like uh, Yes or or something like that. You know, these mm -hmm. bands, that's uh, changing all the time. But um, next is not really like that. Next is just it's still a song album, a song band. But they're just long pieces, that's <laughs> all. It's 18 minute pieces, 18 minute songs, you know. Like <laughs> amazing. Yeah, that tour was amazing. Um, Frank was uh, oh, just unbelievable musician, that's for sure. And the band he had with him was unbelievable. They're just really incredible musicians. Um, he really liked Nectar. In fact, I think for the first five days that we we were uh, when the tour started, he stood at the side of the stage listening and watching the band. And then he offered to us to be on his on his label, um, whatever his label was called. Then he was looking for new acts to put on his own label, and he wanted to just put. We went with somebody else, but uh, every night Frank would. Uh, play a completely different set. It would, every single night, the music would be different. You'd choose different songs to play. You never knew what you were going to listen to. <laughs> and uh, rather than go from city to city, we went from country to country. We had to do all the driving. Frank flew, you know, we had to drive backwards and forwards. But uh, and every, every country that uh, he played, he played the national anthem, Frank Zappa style, at the very beginning of the show. Just blew everybody away. Incredible. I mean, we 
when we played in Germany, you know, he played the German national anthem, Frank Zappa style, and in the UK as well. It was, God save the Queen, like you've never heard it before. <laughs> Incredible. I, it was a great time. An amazing musician. Incredible. <laughs> Good, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I like. Um, well, it's Iron Maiden's treatment of, of our song. Um, not a great deal different, just a lot heavier, I think. But uh, yeah, um, I didn't hear it until years after it was already come out. You know, somebody said. In fact, my son-in-law said to me, "Did your band record King of Twilight?" I said, "Yeah, that's our song." He says, "Well, it's on this album." When he showed it, you know, twelve-inch single. I said, I made King of Twilight, put it on it, sure enough, it's our song. I didn't realise until years after. Uh, Ace is High, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ace is High. Yeah. And um, yeah, I liked it. I liked what they did with it. I mean, at least it wasn't uh, jazzed up, it was rocked up. Yeah, is the best blood is your fan, Steve Harris. So that's right, yeah, yeah, Steve Harris, yeah, big fan of actor. Yeah. I met him uh, <laughs> I met him at the airport once coming back from. I was in, Saudi Arabia, I think I was coming back from, and uh, we met. At, uh, the whole band was there at the airport, waiting to go out on a flight. And I came in, I passed by them, saw them, and I said, uh, "You're obviously a band. What band is it?" They said, "Iron Maiden." And I, I said, "Oh, he says you with the band." I said, "Yeah, next to Steve went, no." I said, "Yeah." He said, "Wow, what a coincidence! We just recorded your song." <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Nice boy, nice guys. No, I don't know why people uh, think that the word kraut rock is, is um, not a nice thing to say. It's, that's just a, a, a term of an expression of the music. It's nothing to do with anything other than that. And if people call us kraut rock, they can call us anything they like. Nectar's still nectar. No, we don't care at all. The only reason uh, that everybody thinks that we are a German band is because of the way Nectar was spelt, with a K as opposed to a C. Um, that was because when we first got together, we decided to be, you know, just make it the name different, you know, and put a K in this. We didn't, didn't realize that Nectar was spelt like that in Germany. And we changed it to the K instead of the C. And we were like, oh, it must be a German band. You know, but it doesn't matter. We don't care. It never bothered me at all. And as far as crack rock goes, there were some fantastic bands around at that time. Very, very good bands. Uh, it's uh, somewhere that you were friends with bands like uh, Ken. Yeah, oh yeah, we knew them all. Yeah, Guru Guru, um, uh, Amadou, all these bands. You know, some great artists. Birth Control, I think, is one of as well. Yeah, yeah we met them all. Um, what was the other one? Uh, we are talking about them the other night. Well, um, what? That German band we were talking about the other night. Um, uh, Grubschnitt. Grubschnitt, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, Grubschnitt. Grubschnitt. Yeah. 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 All these bands yeah. were around the same time. Yeah. Keep doing what we're doing, really. I mean, keep making albums, keep making music. When people want to hear us, we'll go out and play for them. That's, that's all we can do, just carry on until we don't anymore. We would like to tour more than we are doing right now. Uh, every band likes to go out and stay out, but uh, you know, it's, you can't do that anymore because things are so expensive and cost so much money. You know, travel arrangements and everything is very, it's very expensive. So we have to be very careful how we how we go out on the road. You know, it's going to be it has to be worthwhile, or at least pay for the bills. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to keep making music, record music, and play it as long as we can. And as long as you enjoy. And as long as people want to hear it. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.